This whole experience has been really uplifting. I like went into this presentation not knowing what I was going to be watching and I was like actually just an assignment and I have been so uplifted and everything that they had like the artists had to say has really inspired me and like taught me to go out and do what I want to be doing and like it's taught me to find inspiration in whatever I see and whatever I find inspiration in instead of what other people want me to be creating. That one of the artists said. Um, yeah, at the end I asked a question and I asked like what their piece of advice would be to a young artist and um, they both responded with things that really inspired me. Um, Leonardo said something like, um, some people may take a lifetime to find their voice but it's so important that you actually, it's like worth finding your voice. If you actually take the time to do it, it's worth it. And then um, Katerina said something like, um, what was it that she said? Oh yeah, she said it's like falling in love, which, and then she explains like the emotional connection with falling in love, and a big thing that I'm into is the idea of falling in love with life first, like making sure you're doing what you want to be doing, so that was very inspirational for me to hear. I thought it was really, really mind-blowing to hear artists talk about their process, but also about how they are affected by their art. Um, as a person who does not create art, but consumes art, um, it, it's a completely different perspective. And so um, I understand what it's like to be the person who consumes the art, but to understand that whole thinking about what it is to create it and then let it go is kind of fascinating to me. Art, art and science, um, I, I, I think, I think they're, they're also just one dimension, just one dimension, just like, um, not like any phys physical um, quantities. Um, so, so they, they basically have this relationship, this, this really um, acquaintance relationship, um, not just art and science, but, uh, but also the, um, the concept of realism and, and abstraction. That I, I think there's so, no such thing that, that is, that there's just only one. Just because just there's, there's not only um, like separated mediums, uh, all mediums, it's such as um, how Leonard explained, it, mediums are everything. Then, then I mean, it, it's so ambiguous. All, all this. That's why um, this this ambiguity of d determining um, a lot of, of different um, dimensions of, of utilizing things. Um, also, science and, and art uh, are like um, the most complex dimension in, in a in a mind, a way of thinking. That, that is what makes the artist is the DNA of, of the artist's mind. Um, and, and I think that because um, the, there's, there's so much uh, separated things, art ca can be seen as a really um, united thing, it appears to be, but there's still so much to unify still. We, we see it as, as so, um, of so free, like a really sense of freedom, but, but it is still not. There, there's still a, a lot to unify. And su such in life, su such in, is, um, in, in all the other explanations about finding, finding your voice, that, that, like, they, like um, what they were speaking, you know? Um, I actually came to this as a school assignment. I didn't know what to expect. Um, being an art prize event, I thought they were just going to be talking about art prize. And it was just going to be something that wasn't really a big deal. But when we started watching the, the documentaries um, and hearing what they had to say and seeing their process, it kind of made me reevaluate how I'm going to go about my art from now on. And uh, it was kind of eye opening in a way because um, they something they talked about that was really important to me was talking about finding your voice. And, being someone who's so young and doesn't have much experience with art, I have a struggle a lot of the time figuring out what it is, what it means to be an artist for me, you know? Um, if what I'm making really means anything. And listening to them talking about how failing is a good thing was really kind of inspirational for me. So. Well, first, uh, 
I didn't really know what I was uh, going to encounter tonight. I mean, I, knew, I had a little sense though that this was about the jurors and that they would be talking about um, the R21, which I'll have to admit I did not know about, which amazes me because I, I am an artist and an art educator, and so it's 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 uh, wonderful to to dis, to just discover what R21 is, and and I'm I'm grateful and impressed by the work that goes into this and of course it was a real treat to be here with the artists and to um, uh, well to see their work and to hear them talk uh, in person right there um, I thought they both were extremely articulate in their own way um, inspiring of course um, and as an art educator of course I I found myself thinking where are all the art students all the art students should be here they should be just eating this stuff up because, you know, if I had seen this presentation, I think when I was an art student, I probably would have been a different artist and a different person than I am. Um, not that I regret who I am, but um, just the way that people think who have moved this far with their art, and I'm not just talking because of they're doing, you know, really large works and they're obviously um, successful professionals. But the fact that they're, they're that they're such engaged people in in what they do, and uh, there's so much life in their work, in their words, um, and it's just uh, uh, again, it's just a it's it, well a treat isn't a strong enough word. It's just a it's a it's a deep pleasure, um, just to be there and 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 see the work and listen to that, and the work is. It's on a different planet from the kind of work that I've done, but that doesn't, that's totally unimportant because as an artist, it's all about process and it's all about thinking and it's all about uh, the passion and the commitment and the struggle. You know, I like the way they talk about being stuck and uh, we all get stuck as artists and um, uh, you find your way through it and, and it's, it, it's hard work. You know, being an artist is, is just hard work. and. You really have to love the work. Um, I think as, a, as an educator, I, I think that was probably a, both a goal and a frustration was to help students learn how to work and how to love working and not expect immediate rewards. So I could go on, but that's, that's, that's probably enough. That's so, so thank you very much. Thank you.